When my grandfather settled here in the early 1900s, he came over from Russia as a 16-year-old kid by himself. He settled here in LaGrange, started as a peddler, and then eventually became a merchant, had several businesses downtown. And then my dad, after he got out of the Army, he and his brother started a business, which was the Army store today. My dad started his family and had four kids. And I was born here, uh, went off to school, came back. And in 1991, I bought the Army store from my dad, and I've been here ever since. My family and my kids were always into sports. We played in the, in the yard in the neighborhood always, and I just had a passion for basketball. So being a basketball player as a kid, but being short and being told that I can't play basketball, I'm too small, this and that, all that negative reactions that I got from people kind of inspired me. So I became a pretty good high school player and then got to play ultimately in college, but of course didn't make the professional dream, but of course that was probably unachievable. The biggest accomplishment has been my three daughters, of course, and that monopolizes a lot of my time today for my three daughters and I wouldn't have any other way. It's just, that's my passion, that's my joy. We're all into sports do things together as a family, sports-wise, as well as other things. But uh, of course, my family is my, my number one in my heart, and that's just what I do. But also this business, I've been here for 30 years. I took the business that my dad and his brother started, and I took it to the next level and done a really good job with it, and it's been very successful. But uh, nothing compares to being a father and being a mentor to, to them, and that's, that's my passion. The community has been here a long time. Since the early 1900s, there's been a Jewish community. We, we, we established a synagogue back in 1950, 55 on Church Street. It was purchased by the Jewish community from St. Mark's Episcopal. It was originally an Episcopal church and, and it was purchased. And back in those days, there was a large Jewish community because a lot of Jewish uh, immigrants that came over became merchants. And there were probably eight or 10 merchants in downtown LaGrange. Well, over time, you know, those merchants get older and their kids don't stay and then the merchants close down and their kids move to bigger cities. So from a once thriving Jewish community in LaGrange back in the 60s, 70s, has now become a very minimal community with just a couple of families and one of those families being mine. We still have the synagogue that's open, but we just use it for the holidays, which is Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And then during the week, I take my kids to Columbus and we're part of a synagogue in Columbus. But we, we still get together as uh, other Jewish families periodically at people's houses and we enjoy Passovers and uh, have seders and do things from time to time. LaGrange is just, it's, it's an easy town. It's easy to live in. It's a good town to raise kids. You know, I can go to the gym at eight o'clock and be at work at nine. I can go have lunch at my, with my kids at the school from 11 to 11.45. I can work till four and be at the tennis courts by, you know, 4.05 and spend an hour down there. Then I can take them to basketball practice and be there in 10 minutes. It's just easy living. If you're in a big community, big town, it's impossible to do multiple things. You can't get here, you can't get there. It's too spread out, too much uh, traffic. Also, LaGrange just has a lot of opportunities. The city provides amazing facilities. The Callaway Foundation has given tremendously to this community. We've got great athletic facilities. We've got great theater. We have great arts. I mean, we just have a lot to offer in such a small town. This downtown is been amazingly revitalized and I'm just integrally involved in this community and I'm, I'm, I'm here for the long term. I want to thank the community for supporting Ed Olson's Army Store for 65 years. We've been here since 1956 and there have been a lot of small businesses come and go over the years. We still have some, some of our old time customers that come in when my dad was here and they, they can recite some commercials that we ran back in the 70s. Still today, run, ride, slip or slide, get on your pony and ride, baby, ride. People know that slogan that my uncle uh, produced back in the 70s and it's still, still going today. But uh, I just, I like to thank the community and thank all the support that we've had over the years. I'm Steven Edelson and I'm the story of LaGrange. <laughs>